All right. Hello, everybody. It's Darren Martineau here, and I'm going to answer some questions that I got from our group, uh, Master Magic Mentors. First question is from uh, Scott Smith, and he asks, uh, "How do you do your Erdnase color change?" And uh, so I'm going to show you uh, my variation of the Erdnase uh, color change, and uh, I'll explain it. I'll show you this is what it looks like here. Okay. Oh, it's you just rub. And it changes. Okay. The nice part about the change is that you can show it's a single card. Now I'll I'll, uh, I'll tip that. So what you want to do is uh, start off with a uh, black card and a red card that you want to change, and you do uh, double lift. Very simple, but out jog it. Okay. As you do that, your thumb's going to do a slight kickback here, so that you're going to have. Uh, show you from the side here so you can see it kind of like a partial an anman alignment move where it's just an in jog okay and you do that as you come forward with your thumb it looks like you're pushing with your finger but actually you're pushing on the double with your thumb when you push it forward and then your thumb will in jog this slightly okay now what you're going to do from underneath um, as you rub here underneath view first finger is going to kick this back okay the ten of hearts now because you have that in jog when you kick back the ten of hearts what's going to happen is the heel of your palm here is going to pull back on the ten of hearts but because of the in jog you will actually get those two cards coming back you still have this in jog your first finger is here okay because what you're going to do is when you come forward and bring these two cards on top and it happens not so much fast as smooth but when you come forward you're going to make the change but as you make the change you're going to in jog everything so the beautiful part about this is that you're clean when you're done okay so that's my variation of the Erdnase color change there's many Erdnase color changes uh, I'll make other videos showing all different ways on that. And I also wanted to mention I have uh, several brand new products. I have my Super Visual Color Changes, which is going to be uh, 1999, and it's lifetime access, and it's an ever-growing product. Meaning every time I add something in there, you don't have to pay more money once you purchase it. Uh, next question is from Sid Hearth Cigar. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And he says, how do you read anyone's thought, such as a card a person is thinking? Okay. Uh, there's many different ways you're getting into mentalism. Uh, look up uh, Corinda's 13 Steps, Mentalism, uh, Anman. There's all kinds of ways. You have uh, the Boon Rider, the Thumbnail Rider. You have uh, the Center Tears, the Built Switches. You have all kinds of ways. I'm going to show you something that was shown to me by Jerry Andrews, since you asked about... Uh, how to read a, a card someone thinks of. So I'm just going to I'm just going to explain uh, the method. Okay, you start off with a pack of cards. You make a fan. Okay, and this is from the back. What you're going to do is your thumb is going to come up as you kind of doing this right into the uh, thumb clip position. You're going to make a reverse here. Okay, this is Jerry Andrus' version of the invisible deck with the regular deck. Okay, he's going to have them... Uh, actually, sorry, I did it from the wrong side, so we'll do it this way. You fan the cards towards the spectators up there. Okay, Once you make the fan, your thumb comes back and you make a reverse here. Okay, You're going to have them just think of one, then you're going to have them touch it. Okay, Once they touch it, let's say they touch here you're going to bring this one right here so this card being the queen of hearts okay then you're just going to square up everything don't let them see that face down card then you turn over the pack and then you spread down very carefully you go to the uh, face down card put all these cards on the bottom now this pack is kind of necktied towards yourself um, as your first finger down jogs your middle finger going to down jog the queen okay 
you're going to come up, this is going to be towards yourself as you come down, this is going to go right into, in between these two cards here, like so. And you're going to show there's a card you thought of. So I have many different versions of the invisible deck with the regular deck. That's one. That's from uh, Jerry Andrus. And uh, the next question is from uh, Kevin uh, Como. And he says, I would like to hear any advice you have on how to promote myself better. My business card will be here soon, but other than a guerrilla style of handing them out while doing street performing, I'm a little uneducated in this area. Okay. Um, I've worked with several magicians on their promo packs, and uh, one of them, which was very elaborate, was uh, Morgan, Morgan Streepler, many years ago. Uh, he spent $40,000 on his promo pack. I'm not telling you to go out and do that, but I've seen people uh, spend like 2000 3000 and get a good website. That's what you're going to want to get. You want to get uh, a good logo, a good... Uh, Obviously, your good business card. You can get uh, brochures. You're going to send out promo packs. Okay, you're going to send them out to the different talent agencies all around. Um, there's many different ways. It depends on where you want to do a show. If you're just a, you know, young guy starting out, uh, you can set up free shows at the library. Uh, there's, you know, many different places. It depends on what you want to do. Um, if you want to go into trade shows, there's a lot of money in that. Uh, recommend a book by uh, Joel Bauer, Hustle Hustle. Uh, I'll put a link to a uh, Pro Magic page that I'm building with several different resources. But uh, if you're going to go out and do restaurants, uh, I mean, this is a question that I mean, it's there's many. Is it take many videos to explain? But in a nutshell, you want to promote yourself better. You need to like be a little more specific, you know, so that I can direct you to certain resources. Because you, you can go to like the Kiwanis Club where you have all these different businesses and you can offer to do a free show. And some people will say, oh, one free show leads to another. That's bullshit. Because I've done shows where it's a free show. They say it's for charity and it will lead to a paid show. So just because some magician is going to tell you that, don't believe it. I'm not telling you to go out and, oh, do a bunch of free shows. But if you're just starting out, you want to get as much practice as you can. Um, so you have the... Qantas clubs, you have your promo pack, you have uh, your website, you have, I mean, there's so many different ways. I would recommend to my graphic artist, uh, Kyle Perone, his books, and his he's got a lot of programs that he's doing, and uh, he's a full-time pro. Um, I have been, I'm not right now, but I've performed in almost every possible uh, environment. Uh, I'll recommend Kyle Perone, and I'll put other resources up there. So that's the short answer. I uh, hope that answers your question, and uh, all the best to you.